okay, now that I've found what I want, um, I just have to find my way out so I can get to the meatballs. Hello, how are you getting on? I'm here at IKEA for the first time. I'm very excited. I'm holding my microphone in my hands because that's what I see all the YouTubers doing. My mission in IKEA today is to buy a desk and if I can, have the meatballs. So let's go. My first impressions of IKEA from the outside is it's absolutely massive. Uh, to be honest, I'm a bit afraid of it. Hopefully I'm able to find my way out and get back home and I'm safe about to enter the premises wish me luck we're inside i'm seeing my first glimpses of furniture and um, this now to me looks very small i don't know if you'd get much use out of it fine few chairs there hanging off the wall absolutely lovely i didn't know that ikea basically built a load of little houses in it so here we have a gorgeous table uh, a delicious probably one of the nicest looking salads i've ever seen in my life here made out of cardboard beautiful bit of coleslaw here a fine loaf of bread here there's a very um, fine selection of couches here, everything your heart might desire. So one thing I've noticed so far in IKEA is um, a lot of people, I don't know if they just think they live here, but there's a lot of people just sitting in the rooms, not really doing anything. Maybe they think they're not gonna get moved on or something. Somebody's just left their clothes hanging up on the wall here. Um, don't know how they think they're gonna get away with that. After taking in the sights and all the couches, I decided it was time for me to have my very first sit down on an IKEA couch. Now, I did record myself saying something while I had this sit-down, but I forgot to record it. But from what I remember, it was an okay sit-down, nothing to write home about, decent couch. I haven't actually seen any desks yet. Um, all I've seen is fake sitting rooms and couches, so I'm hoping to run into a desk sometime soon. I feel like I'm going around in circles, but all the stuff I'm looking at is changing, and it's freaking me out. Okay, I've um, I found a map. After a good long look at the map, I think I figured out how to get to the desks. So let's make our way there. The journey to the desks in Ikea was one of the most arduous paths I've ever taken. I was afraid. I was confused. I was tempted to buy things that not only did I not come in for, they wouldn't even fit in my apartment. But the most confusing part of the journey was the people in Ikea. Why were they here? Why were some of them sitting in one fake sitting room for 45 minutes? What were their plans in Ikea? What were their plans for me? Okay, I'm still lost, but I have found some lovely kitchens. Absolutely gorgeous, modern, stylish kitchen here. Lovely iPad. Look at the individually labelled tea bag containers. These are Cormac's tea bags. These are Dara's tea bags. These are Jenny's tea bags. Another beautiful kitchen. So, I've just walked past a family who appear to be in the exact same fake sitting room they were in about 45 minutes ago, so I'm worried that they're now living here. Hello, how are you getting on? I'm going to review this lovely fridge that I'm after finding. 699, it's brand new, it's fridge number 5 if you're looking for it. Let's have a look in here. Oh, lovely, look at the spacious interior, plenty to be fit in there. You can fit your nice tiny bowl of leaves in if you'd like to do so. Your lovely um, fake milk that you can put in as well. Loads of shelf space, it goes very deep in. Almost my entire arm I can get into the fridge. But the, the real test of a fridge is the freezer space. Where's the freezer space at? It's a, it's a bog standard freezer, so nothing really impressive about the freezer. But overall, still very impressed with this fridge. So number five, check it out. Found this microwave. Uh, looks a bit small, but let's have a look at it. I don't know how to get in. One second now. Is it that cheese? You have to push it very hard to get into it. There it is. I don't know, it looks a bit small, I don't know what you get a... You wouldn't get a dinner into that anyway. Hello, I'm at the sinks. I'm being very quiet because I don't want all the people around me to think I'm weird for my enthusiasm about the sinks. But hello, this is part two of me trying to film the sinks. I uh, keep disturbing people when I'm trying to film them. So I'm just going to be quiet. Um, so as you can see here, we have... Imagine the dishes you could get done in that sink. Absolutely massive, nice modern tap on it. There's a man behind me who's filming me, filming myself, filming the sinks. As, as, as I stated, the sinks are a bit of a hot spot. Uh, look at this now, lovely modern black sink here absolutely gorgeous now i have seen the tap section over there so let's go over and have a look at the taps okay here i am at the taps and um, there's a fabulous selection of taps i've never seen as many taps in one place in my life we've got some here with a vintage aesthetic all the way up to very very modern so any tap you need you'll find it here this is not an ad by the way i'm just very excited to be here
Sorry, I got a bit overexcited there at the taps, just so we're clear, I'm not a tap salesman. I was just very enthusiastic to see that many taps in one place. Finally, Donut, I didn't think it was going to happen, but I've made it to where the desks are. Look at this absolutely fabulous desk. I'm in the market for a kind of a medium-sized desk to fit in my room, so I'll see if we can find some less extravagant desks. Look at that now. That's a fine setup. I love this setup in general, uh, but the chair is certainly not designed for fat people. I think I'd go through that in minutes. Um, for some reason, the desk section is lit a bit like a brothel. I'm not sure why that is. The desk section in general is a bit seedy. There's a load of lighting up heads here. Um, I'm not sure what that's about or what that has to do with desks. Just that's a fine computer. Look at that. Uh, another problem I'm having at the desk section is a lot of people are kind of just sitting at them, like they live here once again, and it makes it very hard to look at the desks because they're in the way. Okay, so I found a desk here that I like. I think it's a very classy desk, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how do I actually buy it. I'm not sure do I just pick it up and bring it with me or how do I actually get the desk home. I'm here now looking at a bed. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy it. It's one of them beds with a lot of cushions on it. Uh, if you're somebody at home who buys beds with a lot of cushions on them, where, where do you actually sleep on the bed? Because it doesn't look like there's any space for a body. Uh, so let me know about that. Okay, now that I've found what I want, um, I just have to find my way out so I can get to the meatballs. It's the smallest bed I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I think I've found the way out to get to the meatballs. Let's go. That's just another fucking cupboard. I'm starting to get worried that I'm never going to have any meatballs. I'm not sure about him. What's he up to? What's he planning? I've done it. I've done it. I've made it to a Swedish restaurant. I can smell the meatballs. I've got my tray. I've got, uh, got this raspberry dome. Hello, can I get uh, the meatballs, please? Yes, thanks very much. Do you like mashed or chips with it? Uh, mashed, please. Thanks very much. I think I recognize you from TikTok. Okay, so I'm really excited. I'm going to show you the food I got. So I got this um, orange drink. It's called Iskub. Then I got, of course, I had to have the meatballs. And I've got very exciting news. The lady who served me the meatballs knew me from TikTok. So you're only meant to get 12 meatballs. But I actually got 13 meatballs, so big thumbs up there and I got this because it looked like something an alien might eat yeah it's called a raspberry dome so I'm excited about that okay so here it is a really exciting a really okay so here it is really exciting moment I'm trying my first Swedish meatball from Ikea my whole life really has been leading up to this point let's have a go oh that's fucking nice the gravy is nice as well the gravy i'm not gonna lie i was skeptical um i was skeptical of the gravy color it's kind of a skittery kind of color and i didn't think it was going to be that nice but it works very well so now let's try the meatball with a little bit of the mashed potato and a little bit more of that gravy that's kind of working for me as well there it is there now looks absolutely lovely oh yeah oh the mash is lovely as well now finally, I'm going to go all in. They have this kind of a cranberry sauce thing. So I'm going to try that. Little bit of meatball, little bit of potato. Very, very cultural. So there it is there now. Absolutely gorgeous, lovely colors. That's a winning meal. You've got to have the meatballs in Ikea if you haven't had them. Okay, so I've just eaten my meatballs. I am sweating a lot, it's quite hot today. Um, it's a very nice day in Ireland. So I'm gonna try and eat this uh, dome thing. Um, I'm too lazy to go over and get a spoon. Uh, I accidentally just got two knives, so I'm just gonna eat it with a knife. So let's have a look at that. There it is there now. It's, it's, it tastes like it's a yogurt. There's something in the center of it, like some sort of a cake idea, so let's have a go on that. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there it is. It's like yogurt with jam in the middle and a bit of cake. That's very nice, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'd eat that again, very good.
Lads, Ikea is a great crack. There's, there's a big brass band here playing in the middle of Ikea now. I'm in the thick of it now. Uh, they're playing behind me. I don't know if this is normal in an Ikea or if these are just buzzers that have come in, but here they are, they're going to crack. They even have a food bit and you can actually, you can buy the meatballs and bring them home with you. You don't even have to go to Sweden. Right, I got out safe and I have a lovely dinner in me, so I'm really happy. Now it's time to get this desk put together. Okay, here is the desk before construction. I'm not gonna lie, there's an awful lot more bits than I was hoping for. So I'm at this for about 25 minutes and I have a major question for Ikea that I want answering. Why the fuck do you put all the screws into one big bag? Half the job is just finding the screws you need. Put them into little bags and label the fucking things. It's not that hard. Here's my progress so far. I've attached this bit of metal to this bit of wood and uh, the next uh, step is to attach this piece of metal which is exactly the same. Uh, to this piece of wood which is exactly the same. Now you'd think it would be simple to replicate my work but I can't find the fucking screws I need. Okay, I have found the required screws. Life is good. We're sucking diesel on this job again. I think we're going to get it done tonight. Let's just get these in. You know, a lot of people will just go into the shop and buy a bit of furniture but for me, there's nothing like getting your hands dirty and building it yourself like a real man. Okay, so here's the progress on the desk for today. We have this metal thing put onto that bit, bit of wood, and we have this uh, metal thing put onto that bit of wood. I think that's enough for today. Uh, it's more of a difficult desk to put together. I think it said on the receipt that it wasn't for beginners. So tune into the next video where we'll be finishing the saga of the desk from Ikea. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like on it and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy the video, what the fuck are you doing here at the end of the video? You must have liked it, so subscribe as well. Follow me, I'm delicious.